Manchester United will face Manchester City in the FA Cup final after claiming a hard-fought victory on penalties over championship side Coventry City. Manchester United booked their ticket for the FA Cup final against Manchester City after managing to eliminate Coventry City in a semi-final that looked much more comfortable for the Red Devils than it turned out to be. The Mancunian side went into the break with a two-goal lead. Despite the home side's low block, Ten Hag's side managed to break the deadlock through McTominay before Harry Maguire extended his side's lead by heading home a Bruno Fernandes corner seconds before the halftime. Bruno Fernandes added the icing on the cake with a third but as has happened more than once this season, United lowered the intensity and conceded twice in just nine minutes through Sims and Juan Bissaka's own goal. The championship side forced the Red Devils to defend tooth and nail and finally got the reward they were looking for when Bink's shot was blocked by Juan Bissaka's arm inside the box. Robert Jones pointed to the spot and Haji Wright repeated his heroics against Uda Ford by sending Onana the wrong way. The game went to extra time and it looked like Coventry City had wrapped up a last gasp victory when Wright set up Torp who beat Onana, but his goal was disallowed for offside by the United States striker. Finally. Hajalan stepped up to score the winning penalty in the shootout to send the Red Devils into the final. Manchester United survived an almighty scare to progress to the FA Cup final on penalties after Coventry fell agonisingly short of a sensational comeback win at Wembley. Sky Blues captain Ben Sheaf sent the crucial kick over the crossbar leaving Rasmus Hajalan to win it, but the game will be remembered for three goals in the final 20 minutes by the championship side as they recovered from 3-0 down to force extra time. Eric Ten Hag's team were three up and cruising through to the May 25th final after goals from Scott McTominay, Harry Maguire and Bruno Fernandes put them on course for what at that stage looked a routine win. But Mark Robbins' side, who are eighth in the second tier, roared back with a recovery that almost defied belief. First. Ella Sims converted a cross at the near post on 70 minutes to make it 3-1, then Callum O'Hare's strike looped in off Aaron Juan Bissaka to rattle United and spark a frantic finish. Thereafter chaos reigned among Ten Hag's defence as they clung on perilously to their lead, until three minutes into stoppage time Juan Bissaka handled inside the box, giving Haji Wright the chance to write one of the great Fa Cup stories from the penalty spot. Sending Onana the wrong way, he coolly took the game to extra time. Coventry thought they had secured a stunning win when Victor Torp turned Wright's cross into the net in the final minute of extra time before Coventry's brief joy was extinguished of our review for offside. A stunning cup tie was ultimately settled by penalties, sheep firing into the United fans as Coventry fell short by a whisker. United had the first chance after six minutes. Onana hoofed the ball towards the edge of the Coventry box where Fernandez was waiting to nod it into the path of Alejandro Garnaco, who stretched but could only guide it wide. Marcus Rashford was next to go close, taking Casemiro's raking 60-yard pass brilliantly in his stride before clipping a shot wide of Bradley Collins' post. Coventry were struggling to emerge from their own half and a goal for United seemed a matter of time. It arrived after 23 minutes. Garnaco receiving the ball wide on the right and feeding the overlapping Diogo Dalot. His low ball found McTominay, stealing away from his defender to knock in his tenth goal of the season from virtually on the line. Coventry finally threatened five minutes before halftime, Josh Ecclesiastes getting free on the right of the penalty area and crossing dangerously into the six-yard box. It looked destined for the foot of Sims, before Dalit bravely intervened to clear for United with a lunging tackle. Rashford drew a fine save from Collins moments before the break and at that moment it looked like Coventry would see out the half only a goal behind. But their defence could not hold and from the resulting corner Maguire evaded the attentions of everybody in sky blue and planted a header into the bottom corner for 2-0. The fight looked gone from Coventry on the hour mark when Fernandez scored via a deflection to make it 3. Joel Latiboudier initially derailed Rashford as he sought space to shoot but the ball slithered out of the defender's control and arrived at the feet of United's captain who lashed it into the net via the unfortunate Bobby Thomas. The tie looked over but from somewhere Coventry summoned an heroic resolve. Sims ignited a flicker of hope, guiding Fabio Tavares low cross beyond Onana, then O'Hare's strike hit Juan Bissaka and sailed over the goalkeeper for 3-2. 
Hadji's penalty sparked joy amongst Sky Blues fans behind the goal as under pressure United Ten Hag watched on forlornly. Fernandez and Sims hit the underside of the same crossbar in either period of extra time, then Torp thought he had won it in added time before VAR's intervention. After Casemiro and O'Hare saw their penalties saved in the shootout, it fell to Hajalan to hit the winning kick as United breathed a huge sigh of relief. Manchester United booked their spot in the final of the FA Cup against Manchester City courtesy of a penalty shootout win over Coventry City in Sunday afternoon's extraordinary semi-final at Wembley. Eric Ten Hag's side netted through Scott McTominay, Harry Maguire and Bruno Fernandes to take a 3-0 lead in the last four contests just before the hour, with Coventry seemingly having no response. However, the championship outfit registered through Ella Sims and Callum O'Hare in the 71st and 79th minute respectively to set up a grandstand finish at Wembley, Man United were wobbling, and Hadji Wright incredibly scored a 95th minute penalty to take it to extra time in the capital. Victor Torp thought that he had won it for Coventry in the final stages of extra time, but his effort was disallowed for an offside in the build-up, with penalties therefore required to decide the sensational contest. Man United came out on top 4-2 in the shootout to advance to the final, with Diogo Dalot, Christian Eriksen, Fernandez, and Rasmus Hajaland registering after Casemiro had missed his effort. Man United suffered a fresh injury blow in the middle of their defence ahead of the contest, with Willie Camuela ruled out, which saw Casemiro start alongside Maguire at centre-back, as Lisandro Martinez, Victor Lindelof, Johnny Evans and Rafael Verani are also on the sidelines. The Red Devils had an opportunity in the sixth minute when Fernandez headed down towards Alejandro Garnaco inside the Coventry box, but the Argentine just could not make contact. Wright's pace almost took him clear for Coventry in the twelfth minute, with the forward moving past Casemiro, but Dalit was luckily on the cover from Man United's point of view. Marcus Rashford then had a brilliant chance in the 18th minute following an excellent pass from Casemiro, but he could only turn wide of the post. Man United did make the breakthrough in the 23rd minute, though, with McTominay turning a low cross from Dalit into the back of the net from close range, sparking wild celebrations in the red end of the stadium. The pattern of the match stayed the same after the opening goal with Man United dominating the possession and Coventry threatening on the counter-attack due to their pace. The championship club had a big chance to level the scores in the 39th minute after Ben Sheaf delivered a dangerous cross towards Sims, but Dalit just about managed to beat the striker to the ball with an excellent piece of defending. Rashford came close to doubling Man United's lead with a thumping strike in the 43rd minute, but Coventry goalkeeper Brad Collins was on hand to make an excellent save. However, from the resulting corner from Fernandez, Maguire headed into the back of the net to make it 2-0 to the Red Devils, with Coventry having a mountain to climb ahead of the second 45 minutes. Fernandez struck one just wide of the far post early in the second period, before Coventry enjoyed a strong spell, but Man United continued to defend well, with Casemiro impressing in the middle of the defence. The Red Devils made it 3-0 in the 58th minute, with Fernandez showing excellent feet inside the penalty box before striking into the back of the net following lackluster defending from the championship club. Maguire steered just over the crossbar in the 63rd minute, before O'Hare headed over down the other end, with Coventry having a rare chance to register in the English capital. The championship club scored in the 71st minute, with Sims brilliantly turning a low cross from Fabio Tavares into the bottom corner from inside the box for his 19th goal of the campaign and 6th in the FA Cup. O'Hare then had one incredibly deflected into the back of the net in the 79th minute, with his effort hitting Juan Bissaka and dropping into the corner. Onana made a stunning save to keep out a thumping volley from Torp in the 84th minute, before Coventry were awarded a penalty in stoppage time for a Juan Bissaka handball, and Wright stepped up to level it at 3-3 and set up extra time at Wembley Stadium after an extraordinary turn of events. Fernandez smashed one against the crossbar in the best chance of the first half of extra time, but Omori Ferson also came close for Man United, having a low strike tipped wide by the Coventry goalkeeper. Maguire had an effort tipped wide early in the second half of extra time, 
before Wright missed the target down the other end after a quick counter-attack, Sims then struck one off the underside of the crossbar, with Coventry coming so close to netting a fourth in the English capital. Coventry thought that they had won it in the final moments through Torp, but it was disallowed following a VAR check for an offside on Wright in the build-up. Man United ultimately came out on top 4-2 in the shootout, with Hajalan securing it for the Red Devils after O'Hare and Sheaf had missed for the championship side. Match details Coventry lineup, Collins, Latibaudier, Tavara 63, Thomas, Kitching, Bink 63, Bidwell, De Silva 80, Ecclesiastes, Torp 63, Sheaf, C, Van Wijk, O'Hare, Wright, Sims. Subs not used. Wilson, Kelly, Allen, Gordon, Andrews. Booked, Collins, De Silva, Thomas. Goals, Sim 71, O'Hare 79, Wright 90 plus 5. United lineup, Onana, Dalit, Casemiro, Maguire, Juan Bissaka, McTominay, Ferson 103, Maynug, Erickson 72, Garnaco, Anthony 66, Fernandez, C, Rashford, Ahmed 90 plus 7, Hodgeland. Subs not used, Bayander, Amass, Jackson, Oganai, Wheatley. Booked, Onana. Goals, McTominay 23, Maguire 45 plus 1, Fernandez 58. Let us wait for the final game against City.